Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to add a date picker into your Android application. So if you use a date picker for selecting a date, that will be very useful for the user to insert the date in correct format. And you have to use a dialog fragment for displaying the date. If you using a dialog fragment to display date, the dialog fragment will automatically handle all the lifecycle methods of the dialog. Also, you can apply different configurations for the dialog using the dialog fragment. That is the advantage of using dialog fragment. But if you want to use dialog fragment, the dialog fragment is available from Android version 3.0 onwards. So if your application, the minimum SDK version of your application is below Android version 3.0, you have to use the Android supporting libraries. And if your minimum SDK version is 3.0 and above, you can use the dialog fragment available on the Android platform instead of the supporting libraries. So here I am going to show you how to add a dialog fragment, sorry, a date picker using dialog fragment using the Android supporting libraries. So start a new project in Android Studio. So for creating the dialogues, here I'm going to add a new Java class. So before going to make the class, I have to add the needed supporting libraries into this application. So expand the Gradle scripts and open up the build.gradle file. And on the dependencies section, you have to make some changes. Here, you need to add the support libraries. Here is the URL for the support library. This is the App Compact V7 8.0 version support library. You can get this URL from the Android developer website. Okay, so I copy that one and paste it here. Now you have to make some changes on the target SDK version. This supporting library is support up to Android target SDK version 18 and you have to change the minimum SDK version into 7. Okay, so now we made some changes on the Gradle file. So you have to make a sync. So select this option sync, sync now. So now the Gradle project sync in progress. Okay, now the synchronization is success. Now we have to make the coding. So for displaying the dialogues, here I am going to create a new Java class. So right click the package and create a new Java class. And I name the class as Picker Dialogues. Okay, and click OK. Now we have the new Java class, so I need to extend this class using the dialog fragment. And you have to select the dialog fragment available from Android version, Android supporting libraries. If your application minimum version is 3.0, instead of dialog fragment from support libraries, you can use this one, dialog fragment from Android application. Okay, so now here I use the dialog fragment from support libraries because my application minimum required SDK version is uh, less than 3.0. So use this one. Okay. So for creating the dialog, you have to override a method called onCreateDialog. Okay. So now for handling the click events of the date picker, here I am going to create another Java class. So right click the package again and create another Java class. And I name the class as date settings. And click OK. Now here I have another class called the date settings. And here I am going to implement an interface called date picker dialog dot on date set listener. Here you have to add some method, implement some method. You have to implement an on date set method. Click OK. So whenever user set a date using the date picker, this method will invoke. So this method has argument like date picker object, the year, 
month of the year and finally the day day of the month okay so now go to picker dialogs dot java class so first we have to get the current date so for getting the current date here i am going to create an object of calendar class and call the method called get calendar dot get instance okay so now first here i am going to get the year so int year equal to calendar dot call the method called get calendar dot call year okay now we got the year now we have to get the month so calendar dot again call the same method get and call month this not mean it okay now we got the month now we have to get the day so calendar dot get calendar dot day of month this one okay now we got year month and day now we have to create an object of date picker dialog so create an object of date picker dialog here so here i handle the click events of the date picker using another class called the date settings so before going to create the date picker we have to create an object of date settings so go to date settings class again so here i want to display the selected date using a toast so for using a toast in this class we have to we have to get an object of context class so here i am going to create an object of context class also here i am going to use a constructor date settings okay and i need an argument of context for this constructor context now i have to initialize this context object so this dot context equal to context okay now come back to picker dialog dot java class so here we have to create an object of the date settings class so create an object of date settings equal to new date settings and pass the context as get activity okay now we can create and we can initialize the date picker dialog object so dialog equal to new date picker dialog first you have to pass the context so call the get activity the second one is the object of the class which handle the click events of the date picker so here i handle the click events using under java class called the date settings and if you handle the click events on the same class you can pass this so here i use under class called the date settings so i have to pass an object of that particular class so here we have an object of date settings class called the date settings so i have to pass that object so date settings the next argument you have to pass the year next you have to pass the month and finally you have to pass the day okay now finally we have to return this dialog so whenever user select a date using the date picker this method will invoke on date set method will invoke so here i am going to display the selected date using a toast so first one is the context object second one you have to display the date selected date first we have to display the date we have to display the month so month of the year 
So I've told that we have to use a slash symbol. Now you have to we have to display the day. So day of month. Again we have to display a slash symbol and finally we have to display the year. Okay. Now we have to specify the length of the toast. What happens here? Something mistake. Yeah. Okay, write the toast again. Call the toast dot Okay, I write the toast again. Toast dot call the make dust. We forget to call that method make dust. Uh, first one pass the context object. Second you have to specify the message selected date equal to first we have to specify the uh, first we have to specify the month or day. First here I am going to specify the day. So uh, day of the month put a plus symbol day of month and put a slash symbol next we have to specify the month month of the year now we have to specify another slash symbol and finally we have to specify the year okay now specify the toast length specify it is long and finally make the toast visible using show method okay now for displaying this date picker we have to add a button on the activity main.xml file here a text view is already available I remove that text view and add a new button go to the XML version and change the text of the button into set date also add an on click method for this button using Android on click create a method called set date now go to main activity .java. So here I use the dialog fragment using the Android supporting library. If your application minimum SDK version is lower than 3.0, instead of activity, you have to use fragment activity. Okay. Now here I am going to create that method public void set date. Don't forget to add a view argument here. Okay, so here I am going to create an object of that particular clause called picker dialogs. So picker dialogs equal to new picker dialogs. So for displaying the dialog, you have to call the show method using that object dot show. First, you have to pass the supported fragment manager next you have to specify a unique tag for your dialog I specify it as date picker okay now we finish the coding now we can test the application so here I am going to run the application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device click the set date so now we have the date picker. Now here I am going to make a selection, change the year into 2016 and click done. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.